last video we discussed about the type of piping flanges and in this video we will learn about the different types of flange face so there are two main standard as per ASME for flanges first one is ASME B16.5 which is pipe flanges and flange fittings size half inch through 24 inch and second one is ASME B16.47 which is large diameter steel forgings from 26 inch to 60 inch as per B16.5 and B16.47, different type of flanges based on the flange face are raised face flange, flat face flange, ring type joint flange, lap joint flange, male and female flange, large and small, tongue and groove flange. So let's see one by one all these flanges. So first one is raised face flange for which abbreviation used as RF. So these flanges are also called as RF flanges. Each face flange is recognized by the gasket resting surface area which is raised above the bolting line of the flange. The height of the raised face depends on the pressure rating of the flange. As per ASME B16.5 and B16.47, the pressure class is up to 300. The height of the raised face is 2 mm. For the pressure class above 300 and up to 2500, the raised face height is approximately 7 mm. The main purpose of a raised face flange design is to concentrate the pressure of two matting flanges on a small area and increase the strength of the seal. A raised face flange is compatible with a wide range of flange gaskets, ranging from flat to semi-metallic and metallic gaskets. For example, PTFE gaskets, spiral on gaskets, etc. The most common flange finish for B16.5 flanges are 125 to 250 micron inch. For oil and gas filled, raised face flanges are widely used. Second one is flat face flange, for which abbreviation used as FF. In flat face flange, the gasket contact surface is of the same height as the bolting line of the flange. Full face gaskets generally of the soft type are used between the two flat face flanges. Generally speaking, flat place flanges are used in less critical applications like low pressure water system. They are commonly used in low temperature and pressure environments such as pump suction or water treatment flanges. The gasket for FF flanges are typically made of non-metallic materials like PTFE or EPDM and generally metallic gaskets are not used for flat face flanges. Third one is ring type joint flange for which abbreviation used as RTJ. A RTJ flange has a machined metallic groove into its face. The groove rests a metal ring which gets compressed when the connecting bolts of the flange are tightened. A ring type joint flange is used when a metal to metal seal between the matting flanges is required. Instead of conventional flat or spiral wound gaskets, a metallic ring gasket with oval or octagonal cross section is used. As the bolts are tightened, the metallic ring is compressed and creating a tight seal. Fourth one is lap joint flange, for which abbreviation used as LGF. A lap joint flange is an assembly of two parts involving a stub end and a lap joint ring flange. In this type of flange, the sealing face of the stub end is above the flange bolting plane. So the lap joint flange has no sealing surface, only the stub end has the sealing face. The sealing face of the stub end may be plain, serrated or grooved. Fifth one is male and female flange, for which abbreviation used as MNF. Male and female flanges, where the male flange has a face area that extends beyond the normal flange face and the female flange has a depression machined into its face that matches the connecting flange. The outer diameter of the female flange acts to locate and retain the gasket. Custom made female and male facings are commonly found in heat exchanger, cell to channel and cover flanges. And sixth one is large and small tongue and groove flange for which abbreviation used as TNG. T and G flanges means flange the one with raised face is called tongue and other end is called groove. Tongue flange is manufactured with a raised ring that is machined into its face. 
The groove flange is produced with a matching depression machined into its face. In order to have a watertight connection, it is important to match the faces of these flanges. But these type of flanges are generally not used in oil and gas field piping. I hope you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.